What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the TSS checker error. I'm going to show you what error, this one right here, parsing firmware.gson failed on Windows. So you probably remember that uh, two days ago, I made a tutorial on how to save your TSS tickets for the iOS 10.2 on, uh, on a Mac with TSS checker created by Timstar. Uh, and I told you that on Windows it is the same command, so it wouldn't have been a point to make two separate videos. But unfortunately, some of you told me in the comment section down below that you faced this error. When I went ahead and checked on Windows, it actually is an error that persists on all the versions of TSS Checker. So how do we fix this? Well. I started looking on the internet and I found a couple of articles on um, Reddit, on Jailbreak, but none of them were conclusive and none of them worked. Also, I found that Tim Starr, the creator of the application, published a fix himself uh, in which you need to download this certificate in here, rename, rename it to curl uh, ca bundle.crt and put it in the same directory as TSS Checker, but that didn't work either because as you can see, I did that. I also installed the certificate and restored the computer and it didn't work. So how do we fix it? Well, the fix that I found is pretty simple, but involves a little bit of um, digging into your computer. So what I did was to look on the source code and I found that uh, the uh, program itself actually downloads a file from the api.ipsw.me in here. You can also find the link in here. There is also a seed that shouldn't be in here for some reason. Uh, and it says that it downloads the uh, the file in here, but this path isn't the correct one for some reason. So what I did, I copied that link in here. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below. It normally was with condensed at the end, but I deleted the condensed to get the full file. And then I saved it like this, right click save, and it will give you download. You need to rename download to firmware.gson and save it on your desktop. After you do that, it comes the tricky part. You need to go to your computer to see uh, users. And as you can see, I do have that folder, but it's not here, the folder that is being used for saving. It's this one with my username and the padlock. So use this one. You need to go here. And if you don't have the uh, app data folder, most likely the hidden uh, folders aren't showing on your computer. In order to fix that, you need to go to organize, to folder and search options, view, scroll a little bit and you have hidden files and folders. You will have it like this and you need to click here, show hidden files, click apply and click okay. Then you will be able to see this folder, right? Then you need to go here in app data, go to local and you need to search for T, temp in here. In the temp folder, you need to drop your file. As you can see, it will replace a zero byte file. For some reason, the application downloads the file incorrectly and make it a zero byte file. That's why it cannot parse it. You will replace it with your own in here and you can close this thing. Now, if we run the program, I'm going to close this and start it again for you to be able to see. We can simply drag the application down below and start writing the commands. I'm going to write D for device, iPod 7.1, because this is my iPod Touch, sixth generation, then L for the latest version, in in the case you want for another, well, you, you'll need to change it, but you, you can only save the blobs for the version that is correct, currently signed, and then dash E and your ACID. You need to go in iTunes, and I connected my development iPod Touch, and I'm waiting for it to, to load. All right, so you will see this, click on the phone and you need to click twice on the serial number label, like this. Right click on the numbers, copy them and paste them in here. Then write S for saving and uh, I think saving path would be required, but I'm going to show you later. So it should work. Yep, it did, it said saved. SH, SH blobs, iOS 10.2 for device iPod 7.1 is being signed. So how do we save them in, a, in the location specified by us, not in a random place? Well, it's simple again, you need to simply drop the application here, see the commands, and it also has a command for, uh, for saving in the location you, you rather have. But for some reason, I cannot scroll in my, um, in my CMD, so I'm going to show you. 
the command for saving on a specific path would be like this. So we open a new CMD in order to show you correctly, drop the application and follow the exact same procedure with D, iPod 7.1 in my case, uh, L for the latest version and E, we need again the ACID like this, dash S for saving and then again double dash and save dash path. Then you need to create a folder on your desktop, I'm going to name it SHSH2 and drop it here and do this. There we go. Now in the folder we should be able to find our blobs for the uh, device. In my case it has 8 kilobyte, but this is how it saves them so there we go. And this is how you save in a specific path and this is how you fix the error on the um, uh, the TSS checker. So this is basically it. Do not forget to subscribe for more updates and do not forget to tell me in the comment section down below if this fix worked for you. Check out my other videos that I posted in here. Maybe you find something interesting about jailbreaking or about any other kind of tweaks. Until the next time, I'm Jon Snow. Peace out.